The dynamics between Asia and the United States have really changed in the last 20 years. It's been a remarkable shift of momentum so that now we are looking at Asia with new eyes and Asia is looking to the West and to the United States with new eyes. As this momentum continues to shift toward the East and we are seeing the rise of economic and political power and ideas and innovation and technologies, it's a very exciting new chapter for Asia society and for Asia and for the Americas. Asia society has a storied history, one of which we are enormously proud. It has brought education to Americans about Asia for years and years. And where we are now moving is a center of gravity that is more toward Asia and its variety and multiplicity, for there are many nations and cultures and languages and economies and politics in Asia. And all of this variation leads to an immense importance for education, that we learn about these societies, they learn about each other, and they learn about the opportunities for partnerships across the world. For Americans, it is going to be important that we both learn and that we educate ourselves in a variety of areas so that partnerships can carry a respect of each other's cultures and that they are interdisciplinary, they are integrated across all sectors of American life. It is a partnership I think we're all looking forward to, and Asian Society is the premier institution in this field, and for a connection between Asians and Americans, I hope will be in the forefront. Uh, this is a time for a new structure of our governance within the Asian Society. And because we are so close to Asia, we have been watching this shift of momentum of the center of gravity between the Americas and Asia. And as the center of gravity is moving toward Asia, the idea of a governance structure in which you have co-chairs, one based in Asia, one based in the United States, is a structure that is innovative, we believe it is the first, and it is an excellent time for us to think through how structures and organizations could work in this way, showing how partnership and mutual support can work well between Asia and the United States. The world has become so much smaller that there are lots of technologies that can help us, but we are thinking through the intellectual as well as the operational aspects of a co-chairmanship. It is also sending a good message that um, I would be the first woman co-chair of Asia Society, and Ronnie Chan would be the first Asian to be co-chair of Asia Society. Ronnie and I have been friends for many years, so we are old friends and have talked about and thought about Asia for many years together. So we are embarking on this as friends both passionately dedicated to Asia society. And we are wanting to think in creative and innovative ways with the people of Asia society, as well as our colleagues around the world.